Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am here every Sunday through Thursday, 10.30 p.m. Eastern time. Readings generally begin at 10.25 Eastern. They go live at 10.30, so you can pop in the chat five minutes prior to the reading beginning. You should chat with everyone if you want to get a personal reading with me. There's a link in the description box below where you can book a reading. You can also join my OnlyFans. Go ahead and click that link and that will take you to my socials and everywhere else you need to go. You can also become a member of my channel. So thank you for being here. Now let's get on to your reading. Hi Virgo. Okay, let's get into your reading. See what messages are coming. Oh, cards are flying. See what messages coming up for you the rest of October. Okay, heartbro heartbroken in the reverse. Okay, that's good. Healing from a heartbreak for sure. Let's see what else is coming up here. The Virgo. Okay, someone likes you. Someone is showing their feelings for you. Um, Romance is blooming, fun and flirting and wanting to date. Don't forget, go over to my OnlyFans. I've already uploaded the week ahead. Um, there's some online stuff, long distance online flirting in that reading <laughs> for this week coming up. So if you haven't subscribed to my OnlyFans, go over and check that out. The link is in the description box below for extra readings. All right, and you got sunglasses. So somebody's watching you. So looks like you are you're healing from some kind of a heartbreak situation um no longer feeling hurt um over some kind of separation no longer really feeling sad you're coming out of your grief um no longer feeling lost looks like that's over and someone has their eye on you the end of october going into november okay oh Mm -mm -mm. yeah look at that <coughs> excuse me guys i'm having a little like <coughs> so i feel like there was some kind of situation where there was some kind of cut off made you feel kind of bad about yourself it looks like meant had you in some kind of like mental struggle or mental prison you might have been in some kind of like abusive situation in the past and I feel like you're coming out of that let me just take a look okay yeah there might have been some blocking um, somebody was deceptive or lying or running away being very avoidant blocking bad energy tower moment someone was isolating you in the past for sure causing a lot of friction, upheaval, leaving you out in the cold kind of energy. But I feel like going forward from this time period, right now in through November, there's a blessing coming your way. And somebody definitely has their eye on you. Now the past position past energy you know there's no court card here so no one specific for some of you could have been another virgo could have been a scorpio which is the tower and the hermit or it could have been a relationship between a virgo scorpio but it looks like that's like you're done with that that past energy you're done with that you're just over it so you've got a brand new start happening here you've got like a new beginning coming your way um firm foundation celebrations new love okay um they're also saying the past person could have been an aries as well um doesn't matter the sign if it if, if it's not the sign if it resonates for you it feels like i feel like to tell you then that should be enough okay that should just be enough why isn't my light can you not see my light? What's going on? It's not bright. I don't know. It's fading. So yeah, there's a new love start happening here for you, right? That can turn into a long-term commitment. Okay. So who is this person? Um, you might meet them while you're out. There could be someone that you have a reunion with. If you're going to any kind of like 
Um, this is definitely during the holiday season for some of you. Um, if you go to attend any parties or holiday parties or get together with family during the holidays, it's definitely going to be a connection made. Um, if you're going to any kind of an event or a school reunion or getting together with people that you used to know from way back when, um, there's definitely like um, a new love start kind of thing happening here. You guys, I think I'm going to take the day off tomorrow. <laughs> I'm having such trouble like catching my breath. I'm a bit short of breath. Okay. I just have to tell you, I think it's just something going on. Sorry, I'm not complaining. But you know, when you make videos where you're doing readings, you have to talk a lot. And I find myself like the past couple days. I'm just like short of breath. Um, okay. Justice is here. Ace of Wands. You've got three of wands and you have the ten of cups. So there is definitely a new beginning for sure. Um, there's definite, there's like a, I'm, they're giving me, I don't usually go this far out, but I feel like you're going to be married or have some kind of a legal um, contract with, with someone. Who is this person? It could be a Libra for some of you. Let's see if they give you a, cart, a court card. I'm um, uh, the strong um, reunion vibes, not reconciliation, reunion vibes. Like you have an attachment. Um, you'll either know this person or there's like um, mutuals, mutuals. They're, they're giving me the word mutuals through family and friends. Okay. <laughs> so you've got the eight of cups. This person's been away for a while and they're coming back. Okay, so you knew them before. They left for a while. Maybe they moved away or maybe they went and got married and they got divorced. Um, they've been away. Let me see. Yeah, they were fighting. They were away fighting. They might have been in the military. Oh, wow. The emperor. Now they're retired. Could be like, um, hmm. The emperor is like, I don't know, high ranking, definitely. Or they're just retired. So it's like high ranking in any kind of position. So I feel like it, it feels like a retirement. They're like they're retired. Okay. Whether it's military, whether it's executive, the company, they're retired. They've been away doing something. They could have been fighting um, out in the field battling, I don't know, anything, like working hard, holding up the fort, or holding down the fort, whichever. But I feel like, I feel like you knew them before. Um, I don't know if you dated them before. You might have knew each other. See, I'm not picking up. I, I don't really feel like you, I don't feel like you dated them before, though. I'm not picking that up. Like, this feels very new because of the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. And it uh, could have been like a friend of like, like if you had a sibling, could have been somebody that like went to school with your sibling and maybe their brother or sister or something like that. You know, it feels like, you know, how they always used to say like six degrees of Kevin Bacon. I mean, it's like maybe three degrees apart from this person. Like there's mutuals. Yeah, for sure. But they're close in age to you. Hmm. Well, I could tell you what. I mean, this could be an Aries for sure. So I feel like this person, um, <laughs> I gotta tell you, I'm giggling. Like, I'm giggling. Do you hear me giggling? I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. I'm like 12. I'm a 12 year old. This person, like, when you guys connect, they're like, oh, oh my God, you look amazing. Holla, you look amazing. <laughs> You're super hot. <laughs> All right, so now they're giving me court cards. So it could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay. Um, but this person is like uh, super like 
they're very responsible and very caring. They're not like, like, you know, they come in with that emperor energy, though. You know what I mean? This, I feel like this is more of an energy. So with the Queen of Cups, masculine or feminine, um, they're, they're not emotionally unavailable. So I don't feel like there's that energy. Like this person's pretty in touch with how they feel. And they're, they're pretty good, like, very secure partner, emotionally secure. That's how I feel. They're not like moody. I don't feel like they're they're whiny. If it was in the reverse, then I would say yeah, moody, whiny, jerk face, that kind of thing, emotionally unavailable. But no, I feel like this person is they're they're very good at expressing their feelings, but they're not like overly emotional. They're not like off the wall, bonkers, reactive, anything like that, or super super closed off. Yeah. So I mean. It's kind of good. It feels like a really nice um, kind of connection. A lot of passion, a lot of excitement, adventure. Um, okay, let me just try to get into some details here. So I really need to get into some details. Let me see, because that felt so general. So, um, okay, so they're telling me there is some kind of like event or party around November 4th for some of you around November 4th. Now this could be like a christening. Um, it could be a religious event happening. It could be um, a birthday. It's some type of celebratory. It feels very, for some of you, it feels like it's got an, a religious or a spiritual overtone or, und or undertone to it. It could be also um, a party surrounding the birth of a child. It could be a birthday party, child's party, November 4th, somewhere around in November. It could be a birth announcement or a, um, a shower of some sort, birth shower, baby shower, birth shower. Where am I from? Planet X. Um, Hold on, you guys. Um, there's drinks. I see a wedding, a celebration, a reception of some sort. Um, there's, there's plans. There's a lot of people. I'm also seeing like um, an outdoor festival of some kind. When is November 4th? <laughs> Let me see. Oh, it's on a Saturday. Okay, perfect. It's a Saturday. Falls on a Saturday. So it's like a weekend thing. There's something going on. It's like a gift that comes. There's happiness, a lot of joy. Um, there's also like a housewarming celebration. Somebody moves into a home. Some type of community event too. A lot of kids outside, balloons. That kind of thing as well. Thanksgiving parade, early holiday parade. Um, okay, let me see. I'm also picking up someone. There's a trip to Egypt. Definitely like a trip to Egypt. Someone's going to Egypt. Um, I'm seeing a beach. Someone's at a beach as well. There's a trip to a beach. Or someone lives on a beach. Um, or visits a beach. But there's a there's a lot there's cliffs. Beaches with cliffs. There's also um Oh oh okay. There's a party as well. There's like um Halloween or um, pumpkin party. <laughs> what the hell is a pumpkin party? Lots of pumpkins, like an outdoor pumpkin patch, some kind of festival of some sort also somebody's going to. Okay. 
Okay. So I just felt like I needed to pick that up. Now they're telling me now to go back to this person here. I know you don't want to go back there, but they just told me to just, there was another message in there. Okay. I'll just revisit it. What's going on? Why is there going to need to go back there? Oh, well, Virgo does not need to know that. Okay. So, huh, that's interesting. Okay, Page of Swords, and you also have, okay. This past, this, whoever this person was could be this person who's watching you. And they just, all right, that, that's why they brought me back to that. They said to tell you, not all of you, but some of you need to know that this, this, this one here is this one here that's watching you, spying. Not all of you, okay? So don't get your panties in a bunch there. All right, let me see what, what, if it's not, then, I mean, just in case, but I kind of feel like they're saying it is, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, that's what they said. They're pretending that they're sleeping, but they're really not. They're fake sleeping. Yeah, this person is not, okay, anyway, whatever, Virgo doesn't care. Virgo's moving on. Virgo's moved on. Virgo has left the scene of the crime. Virgo has left the scene of the crime. All right, I want to get a couple of um, Chinese signs here and see what's going on. Because I do feel... Um, so we're going to leave that side message. This feels to me, like I said, it, it is a new love here. But for a majority of you, I do feel like this is <coughs> someone whom you did know before, but I don't feel like you dated them. I do feel like there is a connection with this person. But I, you know, I, I think maybe you know of them, or, you know, if you connect with them, you'll kind of be like, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I know that person. Yeah, yeah, I went to school with them. Oh, so did I. Yeah, okay, that kind of thing. Yeah, from the same area, that kind of thing. But never, you might have met, but, mm. okay, let's see. Year of the monkey. Year of the dragon. Year of the tiger. Year of the rabbit. Year of the ox. Year of the dog. I'm going to give you the past. Year of the rat. Year of the tiger. Year of the Rooster, Double Rooster, one more, Year of the Horse. Okay, take it as it fits. Take it as it resonates. Don't try to force it to fit. Okay, let us get into... Yeah, sorry guys, I'm probably going to make this a little short because I am a little feeling a little fatigued here. I think I'm catching something. And I know some of you have just booked readings with me this week, but I think I'm going to have to go in and reschedule. <coughs> okay. All right, there you go. You've got a new chapter. Look back on the past one more time, if you must, but only to help you write the next new pages of your book. Travel, explore the world, space, the sea, the psych, learn, meet new people, live your best life, and allow the past to cycle out. A new journey is ahead. Take someone with you or go solo, but do go. I feel like that's a real strong message that it's time for you to start your life anew. Um, whatever that may mean for you time to begin a new chapter it's time let it happen mature dynamic fiery male that could be you or somebody new coming in here okay let go of anger and no win situations just let it go 
highly logical male, and that could also be you or someone that you're dealing with. You got positive vibes here. Stay with the positive vibes. The energies are strong and powerful, and all the world is your playground. Just love your life. And you have new love beginnings. There's a motherly figure who is guiding you. You are divinely blessed. Open your heart to receive. Cherish your children, your animals, and be one with love. I love that. Oh. All right. <coughs> yeah, we're just going to go right to the charms, and I'm going to kill it. Sorry, you guys. I don't know what's going on. Oh, cute. All right. Let's see. All right, you guys have a dragonfly. Very beautiful. So if you see a dragonfly anywhere, I know it's getting kind of late in the season, so you might not, but if you do, this is definitely your message, your reading, so do keep that in mind. You also have a wrench. <laughs> That's just, no, someone you're connected with. I don't know. Maybe they're a tool. <laughs> but there is a message here for someone who is um, maybe uses a wrench or you, maybe you're looking for a wrench or you see one somewhere. <laughs> um, it's time to, well, somebody might want to try to fix something or maybe something is just not fixable anymore. Or maybe it's time to just stop trying to fix something or don't fix things that aren't broken right maybe it's better just to leave stuff alone all right you guys so yeah cutting it short uh if i'm not here tomorrow you'll know because you won't see a video <laughs> um i'll do my best i'll get some rest tonight and see how i feel um but yeah i'm gonna leave that there i hope you guys have a fantastic um evening and i will hopefully see you back here tomorrow if not perhaps the next day all right love you guys take care bye